There will be four items in the sidebar. All, beverages, food and utensils. This is what it will look like. I'll first create the HTML for this. The sidebar should appear on all pages, so I will add it to the master page. I will add a categories div under the logo. I have put some static categories in the page. Later, I will get the categories from the database. For now, I just want to see what it looks like in the browser. As you can see, the categories are shown on top of the products. Let me add some styling in the style sheet. Let's reload the browser. Much better. I'll put the logo in a header div to keep it on the top left. And reload the browser. That looks about right. Now I load the categories and put them in the index view context. I import the category model. And load the categories in the get method. Finally, I add them to the context in the categories key. The context now contains the categories. I open the master template again and loop through them. Look at the category links. There are four of them. The first one is static and should always be there. The three categories should come from the context, so I replace them with a Django loop. Let's see if this works in the browser. Now the categories are coming from the database. The sidebar shows the categories from the database. Now we need to create proper hyperlinks that load the products for a specific category. There are two situations. Load all products and load products for a category. To implement this, we need to do three things. The first thing is to add another route. Look at the URL patterns list. This route is used for the index page. It has no parameters and should load all the products as it is now. A new route needs to be added to the URL patterns list. I will do this in a moment. Let me give some examples of supported URLs in the app. This one you already know. If we request the root of the site, all products should be shown. Now we will support category links. Here category 1 is requested. 
Here you see all four possible product list requests. Let's start by adding a route to the shop application. I open urls.py in the shop app. I add the categories route as first element in the list. The route can now be used to create the hyperlinks in the template. I replace the hash symbol with the proper URL. This uses the route with name Categories to create a URL that contains the category ID. I need to do the same for the All Products hyperlink. The route with name index does not get a category ID. When this route is used, all products should be shown. I save everything and reload the browser. First I click the All Products link. Look at the loaded URL. It does not contain any category information, which is what we want. Now I click on a category. An error occurred. The view now gets a category ID, but the get method does not support this. I need to change the signature of the get method. I'll create optional parameter ID. I'll print the ID and reload the page. Click on another category and look at the loaded URL. That's correct. I switch to the terminal to see the category ID. The view now received a category ID. Let me click the category All again. I expect to see the value None. That works. There is one task left and that is to load the proper data in the view. I delete the print statement and check for the category ID. If the category ID is none, all products should be loaded just like we did before. Else the products for a specific category should be loaded. I will also set the page title for all products. And set it to the category name when a category is selected. Finally, I replace the literal title text in the context dictionary with the title variable. Time to test. Save and activate the browser. Click on all the sidebar links and see what happens. This is really looking nice. However, we are not done yet. Although the sidebar is in the master page, the views are responsible for providing the correct data in the context dictionary. What happens when I click on a product? Notice there is a sidebar with the All Products link, but the list of categories is empty. I need to add the categories to the product details view context as well. First I import the category class. I load the categories in the get method.
and add them to the context. I save everything and reload the browser. Now both the index page and product details page show the category sidebar. Georgie has finished another milestone. Georgie goes to Arco and shows Mr. Gennaro the website with the categories added. Mr. Gennaro is happy and they celebrate the result. The next day Mr. Costa, a customer from Big City, wants to know how much Gennaro's tire teller costs. But she cannot find what she is looking for. How can she search for products on the website? You will learn how to do this in the next part.